welcome back so we're out for another little overnight trip here i got goose and millie with me today and we're in an area that i'm pretty familiar with spent a lot of time here in this general area but uh looking on the map the last few days and there is one pond in here in this area where i really haven't uh, spent much time or checked out so the plan for this trip is to hike into that pond and uh, not sure what kind of uh, terrain we're going to run into when we get in there but i'm hoping to uh, bushwhack my way around the perimeter of that pond and hopefully find a spot to set up a camp for tonight i got my fishing rod so hopefully do a little bit of fishing along the way here and yeah just wanted to get out for a night so uh i'm hoping to get a good fire going i want to find a spot that has some good dry firewood so when i set my camp up i can get a nice fire going i didn't really have much much of a fire on my last trip so just in the mood to uh, spend the night outside Get a nice fire going, relax by the fire, and I wanted to get the dogs out for a good run. Haven't had them out for a long time now. So this is the first trip this spring, uh, getting the dogs out for a run. So yeah, that's the plan. We're going to hike about five kilometers or so until we get to that pond. And then uh, we'll see what the conditions are like and take it from there. So I hope you guys stay tuned. So, haven't seen any... Uh, human tracks on the trail coming in here so pretty confident we won't be seeing anybody else back here this weekend so there's not much back here there is one uh, remote cabin about halfway to where i'm going we're soon going to be there and uh, you have to access that either by this trail or by boat and i think the people that don't want to access it by boat this time of year so that's about the only chance I'm seeing anybody else back in this area. So lots of fresh moose tracks on the trail. And I won't be surprised if we see some fresh black bear sign as well. Always uh, always some bears hanging around this area. Goose is way up ahead. There he is. Oh boy. What oh, do you want a stick? You want a stick? On a spot to cross this brook. Water's a lot higher than normal. Ah. So we're at the next little pond here walked out on the shore to check it out we're gonna follow the trail in a little further goose is out having a little dip massive beaver's house i think it's probably the biggest beaver's house i've ever seen hard to tell how big it is i guess on the gopro here but huge it's it's taller than me so it must be at least at least seven or eight feet high out of the water and i just caught a glimpse of the beaver i think i saw something swimming out in the brook here all right so we made it out to this bag here where this brook runs through so this brook behind me here brook that goose is outstanding in this eventually leads to the pond that i'm trying to get to so i'm just going to stop for a little break here i gotta take a look at the map to see what is the best way to go i don't think i can follow the brook because it looks too baggy and too wet so i think i can cross the brook and cut through the woods here and uh, eventually make my way up to the pond yeah i'm gonna take a little break and uh maybe have a little snack
Okay, so had a little break and uh, looked at the map and I put the drone up just to try and see the best way to go to get to this pond that I'm trying to make it to. And I think I got a route in mind. So this brook here, I could follow this and eventually take me up to the pond. It's, it's up in this direction. But from what I've seen on the drone, it looks super wet. A lot of water up, up along the side of this brook here. So I think I'm gonna go this way, cross the brook right here, go this way. And once I get on the other side of this little island of trees here, I can kind of go up to the right here, cut across. And on the back side of these trees, probably half a kilometer or so is where I'm gonna find that pond that I'm trying to get to. Some more moose poop here. This stuff's a lot fresher than the last stuff. Right, Billy, no. Billy's eating the moose poop. You'll eat pretty much anything, won't you? Goose, couldn't you find a smaller stick to play with by? Well, I found an old snowmobile trail. I followed it for a bit. I thought it might get me close to to the pond, but I just had another look at the map and I don't think it's gonna take me where I wanna go. So I just cut, cut out through the woods here off the trail to see if I could make my way out to the pond, but uh, it looks like it gets real thick, real thick bush. So I'm gonna turn around. So I'm gonna make my way back to the trail and uh, then I'll follow the trail back to to that bog I was on and and try and find another route. Alright, back here on the bog again, so time should be over this way. I'm gonna hike my way over and just check it out. To see if it's worth uh, if it's worth bushwhacking my way around the shore of the pond to try and find somewhere to set up or if it just looks too wet and nasty, I'm not even gonna waste my time. I think I'll just head back and uh, look for a better spot to camp. All right, I can see the pond up ahead, straight through the trees right here. So we're almost there. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm kind of off the trail now, just kind of cutting across some bogs and stuff. And uh, it's easy enough to get turned around in a situation like this. So uh, something to keep in mind, you should always be aware of your surroundings and look for look for landmarks so right here you can see back in the distance uh, way in the background here is this hill way back probably a kilometer away so as long as I can see that I'm good because the trail kind of cuts through here so when I'm at this pond as long as I can see that big hill back there which I should be able to see uh, from the edge of this pond, pretty much wherever I'm at on the edge of this pond. As long as I can see that hill, and I'll be able to see that hill on the map based on the contour lines on the map. So yeah, as long as I see that, I head back in that direction, I'll be fine. I'll, hit, I'll pick up the trail eventually. So just, uh, just something to keep in mind when you're out kind of bushwhacking around new territory. Goose just flushed a grouse. Took off after it. Oh, there he comes. Whoa, he was gone for a few minutes. Starting to get a little bit concerned about him, but he came back. Good boy. Good boy. All right, pond is just through the trees here. Let's go. Keep her going. All right, nice little pond here. Like I said, I was here one time before, but I only just came to the edge of the pond where I'm at right now and I didn't go any further. I just turned around and hiked back out. I was on a, just on a day trip and I didn't fish, I don't think. But yeah, it looks like uh, up right here, looks like it could be a, a promising spot for a campsite. So I'm gonna make my way over there now, check that out. And we'll see if we're going to stay here or uh, or make my way back and find somewhere else to camp. All 
all right guys well check this out so this was a surprise found myself a little campsite here actually i don't know if i call it a campsite per se but most likely uh what it is is a spot uh, where people come in the winter time on snowmobiles they made a little uh little site here for having lunches and having a fire and stuff got a bunch of lag benches set out we even got some bird feeders up in the trees so yeah didn't expect to find this in here doesn't look like anybody's been in here recently so these lags on top here they were cut looks like they were probably cut uh, over the winter is, is what my guess is so yeah pretty cool didn't expect to find this so i think i'm going to uh i think i'm going to try and camp here so very rarely i find uh I find a spot like this when i'm out camping so i'm going to take advantage of it i think the only issue is i don't see anywhere really to set up my tent yet i gotta have another look around the ground is really wet here which is why one of the reasons why i'm thinking this is used only in winter time by whoever whoever set this up here yeah nice little spot right alongside the shoreline and uh i gotta say i gotta give props to whoever whoever it is that uses this spot there's not one bit of garbage left here so nine times out of ten whenever i, I do come across a spot like this when i'm out in the woods there's beer cans beer bottles broken thrown in the fire pit food wrappers tin cans you name it but this place is perfectly clean so not a bit of garbage left around so yeah pretty cool so if uh, if you're watching this video whoever uh, whoever knows where this is or whoever set this spot up uh i'll definitely leave it the way i found it no worries about me messing anything up or uh or leaving any garbage or anything like that around so yeah i'm gonna use it for tonight and uh just got to find a spot to set the tent up now try and find a, a flat spot that's up a little higher because kind of swampy down here in this hole definitely can't set the tent up on that Well, we're just sitting by the fire here. So I got my camp all set up. I finally found a little spot to, to accommodate the tent. It's not ideal, it's not really that flat, but uh, after I set the tent up, I climbed inside. It's actually a lot more comfortable than I thought it was gonna be. So that'll work for us for tonight. So I'm just gonna sit by the fire for a bit. I think Millie here is, is pretty exhausted. Her eyes are barely open at the moment there. So she's after laying down a couple of times, but every time I get up to go do something, she, she's right behind me. She won't let me out of her sight. So I'm just gonna chill out by the fire for a bit, boil the kettle, have a hot chocolate or a coffee, and just kind of relax. So thought about doing some fishing, but I'm not gonna bother with that yet. Cause like I said, Millie will just be following me around and I wanna give her some time to, uh, to rest a little bit. Yeah, this is, uh, this is the kind of trip that I had in mind for today anyway, so I just wanted to come out find a spot just like this where I could get a nice hot fire going and just kind of relax and enjoy it, you know? So, it's all good. 
maybe we'll do some fishing later maybe not maybe i'll wait until tomorrow we'll see how it goes yeah it's uh it's a damp cold day again so we had a couple of, of nice days during the week this past week like up in the 20 20 degrees celsius i think it was 24 degrees one day but of course by the time the weekend rolls around now it's right back down to like 12 degrees celsius and uh, drizzle and fog and all that stuff but that's it can't control the weather at least it's a little bit better than than my last trip last weekend so yeah just gonna just gonna chill out by the fire and i'll check back with you guys here in a bit Got one, ha <laughs> ha. Look, Billy, we got a fish. What is it? <laughs> All right, we got one. So I'm right out, right out in front of camp here. The fire is just right here by the camera. Yeah, nice little brook trout. So I'm gonna release this guy. I don't plan on keeping any fish tonight. Maybe tomorrow if I fish and I, and I get a few, I may keep a meal. But for tonight, uh, I'm not gonna not gonna keep any unless I hook into something real big. But we'll see. So yeah, I'm gonna get this guy back in the water now, and uh, I'm gonna keep fishing. See if we can get some bigger ones. So I just caught another one, thought I had the GoPro on, but once again I didn't. <laughs> Anyways, it was just a small one, it was even smaller than the first one I caught, so I let him go. I just saw either an otter or a beaver climb up around to the shoreline over there. First I thought it was like a small black bear, first one I saw it, but pretty sure it was, uh, it was probably a beaver. I actually saw it swimming around out in the pond a few minutes before I climbed up on the shore. So I think I'm going to throw a couple of worms in my pocket and uh, try and make my way around to this point here. So out here around this little point is where that brook runs, uh, runs out of the pond. So maybe a good spot to try for a trout over there. Oh, there goes a duck. Bunch of ducks up at the end of this pond. I've been here all day. Still a few up there now, so it's probably a good spot to come and do some duck hunting in the fall. Here he goes again. Oh yeah, bite already. First cast. Not very big though. Ah, lost him. Oh, there he is again. <laughs> oh, he got off. Another small one. Seems to be, uh, seems to be all that's around here so far. Oh, every cast. Little small guys. Goose is way over in that little cove over there. I don't know where he's going. Goose, where are you going, bye? Get back here. It's way down here. Goose kind of gets pissed off when I fish for some reason. He goes and hides in the woods. <laughs> all about the same size 
Those six inches line, little small guys. Pretty much every cast on getting at least a bite, if not a trout. Oh, had another small guy on, lost him. Got another one. Lots of them out there, just no size to them. We'll try to get a meal of these small ones though, if you want them. Hardly big enough. Seven, seven, eight inches at the most, I guess. Oh, there's a other oh, beaver and otter right there. There's Mr. Beaver. fishing excursion so managed to catch uh, half a dozen or so small trout released them all so time to get some food on the go starving here now so i'm gonna eat the chicken teriyaki uh, that i had left over from last weekend by the way if you haven't seen uh, last week's video I'll put a link down below this video and I'll also put one up on top of the screen here so you can go ahead and check that one out if you like. Yeah, I'm gonna have some chicken teriyaki and just sit by the fire, enjoy the rest of the evening and uh, we'll be calling it an early night so hoping to get up early tomorrow morning maybe do a little more fishing and we gotta pack up and uh, hike back out of here got to be back by around lunchtime or so tomorrow so i'm gonna have to get on the go somewhat early i guess so millie is curled up in the mass over here she's pretty much done in for the day i think goose is still running around trying to get me to throw a stick for him there he is come on drop it anyways the water's pretty much boiled here now i think so this chicken teriyaki uh, rehydrated. Let you guys know how that turns out. Seems like a lot of water, but hopefully it'll all soak up once it rehydrates. Let's give this teriyaki chicken a try. I think I put a little bit too much water in, but. Well, getting a message from home. Probably my wife checking in. So. Teriyaki chicken and rice. Not bad. Probably give it about a 5 out of 10. So I think the lasagna was a little bit better last week, but not too bad. It's a little bit bland. Could use some more spices or something. Anyways, guys, I'm just going to eat my meal here. Not much else happening tonight. Dogs are pretty tired now. Millie is here snoring in the mass. So, uh, yeah, just going to enjoy my meal. Sit by the fire until I get tired and then climb into the tent and call it a day.
It's another damp, dreary morning out. Pretty foggy. So we had a little bit of a light rain overnight. Nothing major, but yeah, just getting up on the go. It's uh, about six o'clock, I think. So I'm just gonna get the fire going, get some coffee. guys we're all packed up ready to hit the trail so i'm going to end the video here i'm just going to take my time and kind of fish my way back along this brook and then stop at another pond on the way back do a bit of fishing i'm starting to get low on batteries so i'm going to end the video here just wanted to say thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next one ready let's go let's go